Hi guys, welcome to today's video. Today we are going to talk about how you can calculate the number of yardage of fabric to use for your sewing project. When I started sewing, it was quite difficult for me to actually know the amount of fabric to use for a particular project. And I know that most people that start sewing have that challenge. So that is why I'm bringing this video today. My name is Enorita James of Goshenites Couture. So without wasting much time, let us go straight to our cutting board and I will show you the little tricks that I use to be able to know the exact amount of fabric to use for my sewing projects. Stay tuned. So, before I get into calculating the exact fabric you might need, it is good to know that fabrics come in different widths. You have fabrics that are in um, 35 inches, some 45 inches, some 54 inches, and others 60 inches. This is very important because the lower the width of your fabric, the more the yardage you will need. I repeat, the lower the width, the more the, more the, the yardage that you will need to make your sewing project and of course it also depends on your sewing project the style of your project and whatever you want to do it also affects the amount of yardage of material you're going to need so first of all let's say you want to make this kind of blazer and for information if you're interested in making this kind of blazer i have the link on how you can cut the patterns and also have a link on how to I put this all together. Let's say you want to make this and you've gotten your measurements or the measurement of your client. And then you have done your pattern to make this particular style. The very first thing you need to do, do is that you're going to find out how much material do I need to be able to make this blazer. And that is where all your pattern pieces come in. As I said, if you know the kind of fabric you want to use, you need to find out whether this fabric is cut in 45 uh, width length or in 35 width length or 54 width or even 60 width. Let's say you want to use a material that has a width of 60. The very first thing you need to know is that when you are cutting your fabric, you remember that we always cut on a fold. So if you have a material that comes with a 60 inches width, you know that you, you have 30 inches to work with. I hope I'm clear. You have 30 inches to work with, 30 inches to place your pattern pieces on. So now this is my tape. This my tape is not in inches. This tape is in centimeters. And the way to be able to get... Um, the way to be able to get the centimeters from the inches is just multiplying that 30 by 2.5. And that gives me 75 centimeters. So that means I will just use my tip and just measure 75 centimeters. 75 centimeters is almost the whole width of this table. I'm having almost the whole width of my table. So that is my 75 centimeters from the end here up to here. That's my 75 centimeters. So now I know that the whole width of my table is 75 centimeters. So I know that I'm going to be placing my patterns along the width of this table. I hope we are clear so far. Along the width of this table, that is where I'm going to place the patterns of the blazer I want to make. But if the width of your material is, let's say, 54, 
you just divide 54 by 2 i think you get 27 and if you're using a centimeter tape like me you just multiply it by 2.5 to know what the width is okay let's say we want to use 45 we want to use a 45 width that will be 45 divided by 2 that will give me 22.5 so is that 22.5 i will now multiply it by 2.5 so that will be 22.5 times 2.5. So 22.5, that is 56 centimeters. That means I have just from here, as you can see from where this tape starts, from here up to here that I've mapped with my quilter's ruler. I have up to there to lay my pattern pieces so that's just the method you use so for this method let's say i'm using this my my material width is by 45 inches so this is the folded part of the 45 inches width so what i will do i will now place all my patterns these are my patterns for that blazer that I just showed you. So what I will do, I will just place all my patterns. So these are all the pattern pieces I need for my blazer. And we, we already know that the material we want to buy is 45 um, inches in width. And this is the width of the folded form of the 45 inches from here up to there where I've marked with my quilting ruler. So what you do is to start placing all these pattern pieces according to the direction of the pattern of the material. I'm going to explain that more in a few minutes. So just place your pattern pieces as much as you know can take the width you place it Just keep adjusting it and placing it in a way that you know will be more economical for your fabric. So, as you can see, I've placed three pattern pieces. The next thing is to place another pattern piece from this place down. Now, when you've placed this, we all know that a yard of fabric is 37 inches so what you do once you place your fabric like so you now take your tape and measure from here to where this fabric stops and you mark you mark down how many inches or how many centimeters it has taken you mark it down Remove it. If I had a longer table and a longer um, space, I would have done all the laying down of my fabric. But as it is, I have jotted down the amount of centimeters this has taken. I've jotted it down. Right now, the amount of centimeters I have here is about uh, 75 centimeters. I will write it down. Once I've written down the amount of uh, centimeters in length, I'll remove it. And then continue with the other set of my pattern. Remember, as I said, it is on a folded material. So I continue with my other set of patterns and I place it according to the width.
So that's another set. I should take another 75 centimeters again. I jot it down. The only thing left, the only thing remaining in this pattern is just this piece. That's the only thing left in this pattern. So what I can do is probably remove the facing, replace it with this, because this goes with the hand. With the hand. And then because I have only this left, this is the facing of my collar, which doesn't really matter, you know. I can place it like so. And then measure. And this is about 80 centimeters. So now let's do our calculations. We've placed all our pattern pieces twice and we measured the length that we had that the pattern pieces took. The first length was 75 centimeters, the second one was 80 centimeters to get all the pattern piece for the blazer top. So now 155 centimeters is the addition of the two. 75 centimeters and the 80 centimeters to convert these centimeters to inches just divided by 2.5 you have 62 inches so that is the amount of material you need you need a material that is 62 inches by 45 width to be able to sew this blazer but we know that one yard is 37 inches so to know the number of yards Divide this 62 by 37, you're going to have 1 yard and 25 inches. So I just approximated, you're going to need about 2 yards to be able to sew this blazer top. 2 yards, if the material is by 45 inches. If the width of the material is by 45 inches, you're going to need about 2 yards. If you're as tall as me. So it depends now too on, on your size and uh, how much of material you will need to make something for yourself so all these factors play that is why it's good to always do your pattern according to your size then place it down on your table and then measure it as i've shown it to you that will give you the exact yard that you need to make a particular project So I want to use this Ankara material, Ankara African print to really illustrate what I was talking about. This is an Ankara African print. And most of the time, they normally come in 45 width length. So if you measure this width, that is from here, from here, all the way to that end. That is the width of the Ankara I measure this Ankara width, it is by 45 inches. But if I'm using it to cut, let's say I want to use it to cut this um, blazer, I have to fold it like so. As you can see, fold it. It's exactly the size. Remember the, our size we place from here up to here. So that is the folded part of a material which width is by 45 inches. So once you do that, that is how you fold it. And because you need to look at the pattern of the material you're using, if you're going to be using it with the pattern lying vertically like so, you have to make sure that all your patterns are going to lie in that same direction. So it will be nice to, for example, it won't be nice to put maybe the hand like this and then you get the 
front piece and you put it put it like so it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't follow the pattern of the material it doesn't follow the grain line of the material so everything has to be according to the pattern like that that is why you place it like that you place another set of pattern in that direction so once you do that you will know exactly what how many yards you're going to need to do this so that's exactly what I think you need to do to be able to get the exact yardage of material you need for all your sewing projects. It's quite a simple method to follow and I hope it is, doesn't sound too complicated. It's something that you can do without uh, much problems. So you see? exactly the way we measured it on our table exactly so that is how to do your simple fabric calculation especially if you're doing some simple projects like you know sewing your blouse sewing a skirt sewing a trouser or even sewing a long african skirt you can still use the same method to calculate the amount of fabric you need as i said as long as you know the width of the fabric you'll be able to know the number of yards to buy either in, in uh, centimeters or in inches or in meter all you have to do is to do your translation after calculating since it depends on the tape measuring tape you're using if you're using centimeters you'll be able to convert it to inches and know how many yards to buy or you or convert it to meters because here in Europe, most of the fabrics are sold in meters. So you just convert whatever you have to meters and then you know exact fabric to buy for your project. Okay, that is for the simple things. What if you want to sew a fleece skirt? Sometimes this method might not be too easy like that to, especially if you want to make a skirt that has real full flea. For that, I'm going to show you some websites that I, I discovered that can give you a free fabric calculator. So all you have to do is to put in your waist or your customer's waist a circumference and of course the length of the skirt you want and it tells you exactly the amount of yards for you to buy in centimeters. So you can also you know calculate it and uh, go buy your skirt. So let me just show you this website that I use to calculate if I want to sew a flay skirt. So creating a, a, a flay skirt, as I said initially, might not be so straightforward as I showed you, for you to be able to get the exact fabric length that you need. So when I want to do a flay skirt, there's this um, free calculate, fabric calculator online that I use. So all, all you have to do, put in your Google calculators.io. Remember the S, calculators.io. And once you click on it, this is where it takes you to. When you get to this website, just scroll down to others, click on the others, and then it will open up other, you know, parameters you can calculate. But that is not our concern for today. Scroll down and then you will get to this uh, circle skirt calculator and then just click on it. And then it gives you where you can do your skirt calculator. Where you can use to calculate your the exact fabric length you need to make this skirt. You can calculate for any kind of skirt. It depends on how full you want your skirt. If you want it to be three quarter circle skirt, see it's not as full as the full skirt. Or if you want for a quarter half circle skirt, you can see it. Whichever one you click, you see the amount of um, flay that you want. But for me, most times is when I want to do a full circle skirt. This is what I use. And it also depends on the length that you want. You can change your length. If you want it to be a full length. If you want it to be a, a you know, um... It depends on the length of the skirt you want. Whatever length. You want it to be your knee length. You measure from your waist to your knee. You want it to be from your waist to your ankle. You measure from your waist to your ankle. And you write it there. It depends on whatever um, parameters you're using to measure. 
if you're using centimeter tapes like me you leave it in centimeters if you're using inches you leave it in inches so i use centimeter tape i leave it in centimeters so it's quite easy to use measure your waist circumference measure the length of the skirt that's all you need for instance my waist circumference is let me say it's about 90 see that once i remove that and put nine this automatically changes the waist radius and the fabric i'm going to need automatically changes and tells you exactly what you need to make this kind of skirt according to your waist circumference and the skirt length that you want to use so it's quite easy to use very easy you know it, it saves you all those calculations calculate multiply by eight and then fold it and then you measure the circumference and all that this just tells you exactly what you need to do using just your two measurements so you can go ahead and try this and stop cracking your head especially if you're not too good with maths just try it and then go ahead and show you show your wonderful skirts uh, one of these days i'll show you i'll use this and i'll make a fresh skirt like this you know i'll do a, i'll do a video to show you how to actually use this and make this kind of skirt and you see how beautiful and flayed skirt will look like so i hope this helps you quite a lot as it has helped me so that is it today on how you can calculate your fabric size for your sewing project i hope you've learned one or two things today if you have any questions or any comments just drop it in the comment box and i'll get back to you asap um thank you so much for listening remember to hit the subscribe button so that i can keep bringing wonderful videos like this on tips to make your sewing life easy and enjoyable so till next time until my next video remain healthy remain blessed